Hey yo, welcome back everybody to She, the Dark Healer playthrough. That is the name, by the way. She. But yeah, we are back in action. We have this little thing right here. Unstable crystal. Some a portal not to fight for you. So there's a little mini boss we're gonna take on at the beginning of this episode. So let's let's do it. Let's hope it's not hard. Let's hope it's not easy. Let's hope it's like a little like medium, medium core. And uh, we'll, we'll see if we get our ass beat or not. I don't know if he spawns. Fight this at day. Fight this at night. He's got 1,500 health. Strange portal. And it spawned in an area where it trapped itself. So that's uh, very interesting. Does this hit through the wall? No. By any chance? Oh, you know it does hit through the wall? Yes, sir. This is a free fucking... Oh, shit. He's teleporting. Kind of strong. What the hell? Kind of like low key strong. I didn't know it started flying around and shit. World stab cooldown. You cannot use world stabs. When did I use one to begin with? I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, more sky root. We're kind of running low on mana, so I, I can't really do anything. This is why we need restoration potions, so I can actually you know get stuff done. I feel like these last for way too short. Oh, that was great that I did that, so I can just run out. Come on, get some damage off. I don't feel safe just straight up fighting it. I can't even reach it with that. Whatever, just use this. It's fine, we can take some hits. We have potions. Especially when it's not even shooting at us right now. Like, I can literally, my left, oh shit. Uh, nah, I'm gonna play with just one hand. I got one hand on the mouse, that's it. And I can tell you what my left hand is doing. All, is, all I can say is stroking, all right? Stroking my thigh, by the way. Geiger counter. It summons the Xenomite crystal, finally. Um, that sounds dangerous. <laughs> it sounds like that's a boss. Well, I mean, I guess we could check if it's a boss. Xeno yeah, it's a boss. Okay, it's good I checked because I was about to use it. But yeah, let's not even touch that. Let's not worry about that. So the next armor set we can get our hands on is the Ebon Druid set. And now to get our hands on that set, we need to do a little certain something. What kind of world do we have? We have a corruption. We need to do a little so 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 We need to do a certain something. And that certain something is fighting the Eater of Worlds. Now, honestly, I feel like... There's a possibility that we can take them on. But at the same time, I'm not 100 on it. Not 100 on it through the fact that, I don't know, I just feel like we might die. Maybe we, we rock the Star Cloak. And if we get hit, boom. I don't know. Does the Star Clo Cloak work through the floor? I have no idea. Like, does it go through walls and shit? No clue. What other options do we have? Do we have restoration potions? Of course not. Can we craft restoration potions? I know we uh, we got our hands on them, but like I don't know what. There's no greater restoration potion. Is there no mod that adds greater restoration potions? I swear there was. I swear I had one at some point. But yeah, I have no idea what else to get our hands on, uh, healer and druid wise. But I, I guess I'll figure it out in a second when I look at it. But yeah, let's go over to the Eater Worlds area. Let's start breaking some shit and start setting up an arena. All right, so I got a, I got my hands on a healer item from the first orb, but I don't think it matters. Every 40 ally life field releases a bolt of damaging radiant energy. Wow, can't wait to use that. Wait, I can't. There's no allies to heal. It goes into the ebon enchantment, though. Corrupts your radiant powers, causing them to take on dark forms. It's really cool. But you need to catch a bloodied butterfly? What the hell? What the hell is that? All right, it's all good. But yeah, I don't know how we're going to clear an arena here. I guess just blow shit up. And then just go from there. Let's break this one while we're at it. Oh, no. We got to throw another piece of dynamite. A whole piece of dynamite. Just to break this one. Wait, unless I can clip. If I can clip, I can't see because the bubbles are in the way. All right, you know what? Just throw a bomb, whatever. We got 10 dynamite. It's not a problem. It's not a problem. At least I hope it isn't. Boom. What do we get from that one? Sweet, a fan letter and a shadow orb. All right, so the one second I was off camera, a uh, goblin army appeared. Awesome. All good. Can't wait to fight that. But yeah, let's go ahead. Let's drop the bomb. Sorry if my mic sounds weird. I don't know what happened. If it sounds like a little, I don't know. You guys can definitely tell. If you watch this episode and watch the previous episode, there's a little difference in my mic. And I don't know why it does that sometimes. It just does. Where it just starts sounding weird and shit. Okay, well, what's going to be our best bet here? <gasps> I know exactly what's going to be our best bet. The eyeball stocks. I ain't talking about stocks like the fucking money ones. I'm talking about the eyeball eye stock bag. Okay, no, it was not our best weapon. We could have had better. Wait, hold up. I don't know. I'm trying to see which one is the best. <laughs> We're probably gonna die if I'm being honest. This boss does indeed hurt. 
It does indeed. Oh, don't hit me. Okay, we chill, we chill. We got jukes right now, if I'm being honest. But uh, at the same time, we're still getting our shit clapped. Wait, wait, wait. No. Get the heals from it. Alright, we chill, we chill. Just get more and more of these out, and we should be good. If we just keep doing this, and then switch to the shroom bag, and then get the heal from the shroom bag, honestly, we're good. Because I think our health is going to be regening way too much for this guy to even be close to being able to beat us. I hope I'm louder than the fucking game. I don't know. I can't tell. Alright, do more of these, and then while that's going on, do this. Do this. I feel like I'm micromanaging right now. A little too much going on right now. I am dying on a high key level. Ah! It hurts! We need more healing. We need more healing or something. I don't got enough room to be moving around in here. Not enough room at all. Alright, just keep summoning this, because these things do damage, bro. These things do damage to this shit. Oh my god. This thing has been carrying us for a while now. People aren't going to get mad. They're like, gamers, why are you using your best weapon to kill bosses? And to progress forward, even though it's your best weapon and it makes sense. Uh, because it's my best weapon and it makes sense, that's why I'm using it. Okay? Look, I've tried my best to just like start switching to other weapons. But these things have been doing zero damage, honestly. Oh, there you go. We actually getting some kills with the fucking rotten cod. Honestly, we're going to get rid of this weapon as soon as possible. <laughs> it sucks. I don't want to use the rotten cod. All right, but there you go. As soon as we go to the surface, you ready? Oh, shit. We chilling because we up here. All right. It's all good then. Uh, you know what isn't good is this asshole moving in. We got the Eater of Pain. Heals out of life. But through the life of Crush Fury. Wow, I can't wait to use that. <laughs> I'm lying because we can't use it. So I'm going to just sell everything. But the main reason why we fought the worm was to make the Ebon Druid set. Boom. Which requires scales and ebon wood. All right, so looking at this, there, there's like a cold bloody druid set. I don't know what the difference is, difference is between the ebon druid and the cold druid. Um, higher defense, lower defense, maybe a different set bonus. But there's also this right here, the stave. Stave. All right, let me just type in druid. Maybe we can compare it here. So four defense, three defense, six defense, five defense. All right, so. One is a stave set, one is a, I don't know, bag set? Because <laughs> this throws seed bags faster. This swings staves faster. Staves. Uh, I don't know if I'm saying that right. I don't know, it's, it's staves instead of staffs. I guess it would be staves, wouldn't it? Because that's like the, whatever, you know, don't worry about it. Don't think about it too much. Mana regen slightly increased. I, I mean, let's try out the Ebon Druid set for now. And just see how we're feeling it. And then, uh, I mean, we have the ability to probably make both. Oh, we gotta make the stave first. Let's start with that. Boom. Boom, bada, bing. Do we get a special one? Not really. Uh, guardian info. Type. Fairy. Special ability. Swing slash... Swift swing slash corrupt aura. Stab swing a lot faster than mobility enchantment while in the corruption. So if I right click... We get a little fairy above our head, which lasts a little bit longer. Because I think they updated how long they last. Uh, get rid of this one then. The ancient world one. I don't even know if that one was good. Honestly, I don't know what the hell's going on. But, uh, yeah, it should be good. I think. I don't know. I feel like we'll use this weapon a lot. Honestly, we should get rid of the rotten cod. But just so we could represent the healer class a little bit more. We got that. So we'll hold on to it for now. I don't know how many single player, like, radiant damage items there are. Hopefully there's a couple. Where the hell are the goblins at? You know, I just noticed that there's no goblins here. Ooh, we gotta hunt the ICU. I thought we already killed them. Alright, so let me go back to the corruption, get some trees, and then we can make this armor set. Alright, let us craft the Ebon Druid set. Boom. I hope I have enough. I'm pretty sure I do. There's no way I don't. Bam. Yeah, perfect. Perfect. Alright, so let's see. Our damage is at 9, and then our defense is at 16. Boom. Damage went up to 10. Insane. Defense went up, though. Defense went up. Set bonus, throw seed bags faster, and thorns effect. What the hell is the difference between the armor sets? I don't know. Wow, really throw that faster. I don't feel a difference. They're, they're probably, the difference is probably so, like, minimal. Whatever, don't worry about it. Uh, throw the armor set in here. I don't know, maybe we put grab the ice one and see? I, I have no idea. But yeah, what's the next boss we could fight? I kind of want to fight something new. But the thing is, I don't know if I'm strong enough. We might need some more, more uh, weapons. So maybe it's time to look at some weapons. Maybe we just like open this up. 
go to here and then just type in mod, oh wait, wrong one. Mod of Redemption and see what comes up druid wise. Is this does nine damage? Uh, I don't think that's worth that. Magnetic soul bound, bound, soul bound. Release a bond of souls. Gets buff from soul related armory. Okay, interesting. It is a soul weapon. Uh, what else? What else? Ooh, grass stave. Does some good damage. 22? I mean, I guess this one does 25. What else we got? What's this? There's like these crowns. Has a chance to throw an extra seed? <laughs> I'm sorry. Do these work like, you know how the scouters in the Dragon Ball Z mod work? How you could put them on any armor set and it would still, you know, count? Do these work like that? I hope they work like that. Hey, Mod of Redemption devs, if you're if you're listening to this, you should make these work like that. You know what I you know what I mean? You could put them on any armor set and they'll still give you the set bonus, right? That's a that's a good thing. A lot of mods should do that. Uh, pouch belt. Oh, is this an accessory you can put on? I mean, we have some pretty good accessories as is. Like, there's not really much to get rid of. This probably 10% increased UAD damage, but I don't know. We get eight and we get critical strike chance. Like, is that better? I don't know. I don't know. No, I, not, I don't know. I don't know. I really don't know. Let's make, what was I looking at? Let's make this. We're making this. We're just gonna see what it's like. Oh, it's a throwing weapon. Require mana? No. Does more damage than the shurikens. Does more damage than the shurikens. We might use it over the shurikens. Let's just try it out for now. Uh, this weapon still sucks. I'm gonna call it out every single time. But yeah, let's go ahead. Let's take on the next boss. I would like to take on the keeper. But I have no idea if we'll be able to. Mysterious tablet. I haven't been able to really gauge how strong. Oh, well, we need lost souls. And I kind of just used my remaining lost souls, didn't I? Oops. Oopsies. Okay, we might have to go on a lost soul hunt really quick. Yeah, I think we should go on a little lost soul hunt. See if I can get my hands on some lost souls. I'll be right back. Wait, before we find some souls. A certain enemy has appeared. We're going to fight that certain enemy. Who is it? Mini boss from Juice Mod. You guys already know. I see you, but I don't see him. There he is. Come on, find me, bitch. I'm being careful. Find me, bitch. Yeah. Oh, you kind of suck. He's going to do it that way, and he's going to do that way. Oh, I'm kind of scared. If he does it like the X, he's going to hit me if he does it in the X. Oh, he hit me. Look, I told you. As soon as he did the X shot. Oh, now he hit me with the plus shot. I'm talking about, like, what direction the laser is shooting. He shoots him in a plus, and he shoots him in the X. Good. Let's go over here near the NPC. Maybe they can help me out. Hey, help me out. <laughs> Make this easier. All right, let's do a bunch of these. A whole lot of these. And then let's go back to the soulbound thing. Because the soulbound thing is actually pretty good. It's pretty damn good because it, like, shoots out a little soul when you hit things. Oh, that was a pretty easy fight, man. I'm not even going to lie. I mean, I hope it was easy because it's a mini boss. Get away from me. Like, I don't know what's up with the goblins. Like, sometimes they appear, sometimes they don't. But yeah, we could turn this in to this guy. And then we could also take this out. We got Mystic, you know. Isn't Mystic the best summon? Or one of the best you get? Boom, we could do that. We get a Mana Crystal and a Life Crystal. I can't use any of them. All good. Do we even need these? I have no idea. Shrink enemy with a melee weapon. So there's a problem with a melee weapon thing. Don't need it. Toss it in here. We don't need spike bombs either. Or well, maybe auto trash one, sell the other. Spiky balls? We do need. We do need spiky, spiky balls. Maybe like, why do you need spiky balls? Uh, we can craft the Goblin Tinker Summoner Potion. Which, if we have troubles getting the Goblin Tinker to spawn in, we got that potion that we can craft. But now, let's go hunt for some souls. Alright, so I got my hand on two souls already. So hopefully these guys supply some more. Just kill enemies. It's pretty much like uh, the dungeon souls, how they work. You just kill some enemies and they spawn. But you gotta be a little bit underground. And then they're like little white flames that float around. But I've been getting confused recently. Because, you know, I'm using a weapon that kind of emits white flames. So, you know, occasionally I don't even notice them. It's all good. Because I, I think we only need two, maybe more. Actually, we might need three. I'm not sure. I already forgot. <laughs> It's all good. Oh, shit. Dark trap. It's all good. Bad aim. Imagine having one job, and that's to shoot the player when they step on your pressure plate. And you can't even do that. Failure in life. Like, come on, bro. It's like the Olympics, man. 
Imagine like training all that time for the Olympics and then you get like fucking fourth place. Oh, I mean, at least like third place and second place is remembered, but then you get fourth. It's like, oof. <laughs> Why put in all the effort? Do you guys see that? Bottom left corner, small last soul. I heard a soul die. I heard the noise they make. Want me to make the noise they make? I'm not gonna. Okay, I'll do it. They go, ah! something like that. I heard him die. I think he walked into the lava down here. So we're gonna go, we're gonna go retrieve thy soul. Because I think we need five. I don't know. We're doing all this for a boss that might possibly kill us. But uh, you never know until you try it. So uh, we're going to see if this boss will kill us. Honestly, don't feel like our weapons are strong enough. But, uh, you know, my peen is very long and round. So I think we're good. Let's see. Boom. Mysterious tablet. Yes, sir. We only needed four. So we actually did get one extra. Got another staff. I got some Spartan sandals that I'm totally not going to use. Sell that. I might as well. Boom. Toss that in here. I just want to give you guys some uh, news right here. Okay, ready? I'm going to be starting the uh, Defender playthrough. Which, if you guys don't know what that is, it's going to be using the Expanded Sentry mod. Because so I did a little video and a lot of people... Or not video. I did it in a challenge episode. And a lot of people liked the class in it. So I'm like, hey, I like the class too. Might as well do a full series on it. A full stream series, not a YouTube series. We'll do a stream series. You know how it is. It'll be uploaded on YouTube after it's streamed. Stuff like that. My goal will try and be get it up the same day that I stream it. But I don't know. I stream kind of late. Uh, Pacific Standard Time. So we'll see. But yeah, let's make this. Can we just make it straight up? Or do we need to go to the Demon Altar? No, it's not what it's called. Fragment. It's not called a fragment either. Yeah, I have no idea what it's called. Mysterious Tablet. Duh, I knew that. Come on, bro. I knew that. Shit. Yeah, we gotta go to the Demon Altar. Alright, I had to slaughter the Goblin Invasion, which took all day in Terraria, which is actually good. Because apparently we can only fight this boss at night. And I'm pretty sure it doesn't need to be in the right biome. So thank God for that. Because I thought I was going to have to make an arena over here. I mean, we kind of had one already. But I don't know. It's still kind of cramped in the cave. But let's do it. I'm ready. The Keeper. First time fighting this boss from the Mod of Redemption. This boss should not be too bad. We have not even gotten hit. Oh, we spoke too fucking soon. Spoke too goddamn soon, of course. But we're just going to go for this. And then we're going to stack. Ooh, actually, right click. Use that. But we're gonna try and just use this primarily. I don't know what the noise is making. And then let's summon this actually. I feel like the seed stalks might be good for just killing any. Uh, what the hell are they called? The monsters on the floor? There's a word for them in RPGs and shit. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Boss is dead. That was that boss's cheeks getting clapped. That's right. That hard. <laughs> My hands are kind of like vibrating after that. They kind of hurt. Old Gothic War Axe. Do they mean Gothic? Or is this like, I don't know. Uh, Keen, the key or Keeper's Staff. Some say temporary Dark Soul to fight for you. Hey, Dark Souls. After five seconds, it will explode into tiny homie Dark Souls. Uh, if all minion slots are used up. Very interesting. I didn't feel like reading the rest of that sentence, as you can tell. Uh, we probably won't use it. Dark Shard gives the undead power. And then we got... Mocked Heart Insignia. You respawn with 75% maximum health and great regen boost after death. That's actually really cool. It's a cool idea. I like that. Probably won't use it, but it's a cool idea. What about this? This has to make some druid stuff. There's no way. It doesn't make a single druid item. What about helmets? No, not even druid helmets. But yeah, that boss unlocks something. There's like something we're supposed to be able to do now since we killed that boss. No idea what it is. But yeah, sell all that. I guess hold on to it. I don't know. There's, there's not much here. Keep your staff. Yeah. Claw. It's got like three melee weapons you can make. No druid stuff. Uh, is there any mods? Yeah, I guess there is. Expanded centuries. I was going to say, is there any mods that add in specifically just a class? And expanded centuries is one of those mods that adds in specifically just a class. So good on for that mod. Good on for that mod. We need more mods like that. You know what I'm saying? That don't add in a, bun a bunch of classes. They just add in one class. And that's their main goal. Is to expand that one class. Expand enemies around that one class. Expand bosses around that one class. Expand armor around that one class. I don't think there's any mods like that. I think they all try to cover, you know, everything. On top of adding a new class. So, like, I don't know. I don't know. my there's my opinion. Game Raider's opinion on that. But I think we're going to end this episode off here. We achieved a bunch of stuff I wanted to get done. And that was to fight the Eater of Worlds and fight that boss. Uh, I have to get like a legit list to see. Oh, fuck. 
I had to get a legit list and like list down things I need to get each episode. What the hell is this? Cephalopod slurred. But yeah, once I get that list set up, these episodes will be a little bit easier to record. And also, I've, I have been having problems with my team mod loader. It occasionally just like freezes and crashes a lot. And I have no idea why. I feel like I corrupted it with something. So I had to do a fresh reinstall. So that's why, you know, episodes have been very like spread apart. Like there'll be an episode once every week or two episodes once a week. And that's because I've been having problems. And when the game like crashes and freezes a bunch of times, it kind of, you know, makes me not enthusiastic to record an episode. But yeah, we're going to end this episode off here. I hope you guys enjoyed. 